Hello friends, how are you today? I will be having a live stream tonight, Tuesday the 25th at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. So join me there for a deeper discussion of these energy trends. I'll also add astrology tonight and we'll do a meditation to close. So there was a really interesting image on the chart today, this big wave, and I wanted to tell you some interesting insights I had about it, and then we'll go into detail um, on all of it tonight. And if you have Q&A questions that you want to bring up tonight, we can do that as well. So this was really interesting, okay? I took this image and I doubled it because... I was looking at it and I thought, is this like another church image or a gateway image? There's many times when we get these waves, they kind of look like those things. And I was trying to, in my mind, manipulate it um, like as a 3D image to see what it would turn into. But what happened was when I put it together, I got this. Um, I did a first try as well with this... Um, line included. And I came to the conclusion that these lines are, so you have one there, you have one here, and then you have one here at the end. And I came to the conclusion that these are, these are markers, that this is an important event. And so the lines show that it's like show markers, they mark it for us. So, so on the chart, this occurred on April 25th. Okay. There's day night reversal in the USA. Let's go back to this. So what happened was that I, um, what happened was, hold on one sec. Okay. That as soon as I saw this image, I immediately recognized it. And I recognized that I need to to readjust what I was looking at. Let me show you this right here. Let me give you a hint. <laughs> Can you see right here? Do you see a face? All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it a little bit bigger. Most people are watching this on their phones. So I'm going to blow it up a little bit. There's a face there. Okay. And that gave me a second clue. Um, I'll just tell you right now, as I was looking at this, it reminded me of the pictures of the rocket that Elon Musk had sent up on 420, April 20. So what I did was I decided I'm going to go to the center of the wave and look at what that image looks like. Because there was this incredible, like one of the things that was really emphasized in the pictures as it went up was the waves of smoke and exhaust coming off of it from ignition. And that's kind of like what this is here. Um, look at it. As soon as I saw this, for me, this is Elon's rocket. And now, if in case you needed confirmation, look at what's at the top. Look at this. Can you see that? It's literally a man's face. <laughs> Does that look like Elon Musk? I don't know. You can tell me in the comments what you think. So it's, it's interesting because it's almost like as I was making this, I was like, oh, there's like alien writing on the left and the right or something. I don't know. Um, I'll just go down here so you can see the images. This was interesting because it was almost like a, a head with the big horns and then the something in between them. It's a little like... It's a little like the goddess Isis, how, and I'm talking about the Greek goddess, okay, how she's presented but a male version of it. So I just thought that was interesting. And to me, what this says is this rocket launch, there's something about it that was like imprinted on human consciousness, because I view the human resonance as a reflection of human consciousness. And why do I view it that way? Because this image that I'm showing you here is in a hertz range from zero to 40 hertz if you go from the top of the chart to the bottom of the chart. Right now I've got the chart reversed, but up here is 40 and down here is zero hertz. And human brain waves go from zero to 40 hertz. 
And there are other reasons as well. I have a little beginner video on my playlist section if you want to take a look at that and see all of the reasons why I think that we can part participate in this. So so it's amazing because since the explosion of this rocket, at least in the United States, we've had a major shakeup. And that major shakeup has come in media. And <laughs> and this is really important. The astrology of this is that at the new moon for this month, which was only four days ago, Mercury and Uranus were right next to each other. So what this showed was that a big shift, but in communications. And it's so interesting that the rocket is, I feel that this is somehow linked and I don't understand how. But let me show you another image that was on the Schumann in the past few days. Maybe some of you saw this. It's right here. This was on the 22nd. Can you see that there is a face here? I, it was very striking. I had put out some information about a shift in energies and that shift in energies was really nailed here where you had the big long green um, horizontals. But then we get this face and I, this is what I did with it. It looked to me like a face of an animal and it, it specifically looks to me like the face of an animal that watches. Like this is a picture of a Weimaraner, which is a hunting dog. And you know, if you have a hunting dog that, that they really can focus, they really watch and they are looking for whatever their prey is, right? They are looking for movement. They are looking for a sign and a, a hunting dog can see under, it can, <laughs> it's so interesting because, um, if you have ever been around hunting dogs, you'll notice that they can focus in on something long before you see it. And what this reminded me of is the energy of a sentinel. And so I think that this is the other energy that came in with the new moon. And I've done a video, if you look in my playlist, um, let me fix this here, there we go, on the energy of the sentinel. There we go. Um, and so this image is from one of my previous videos, but the energy of the sentinel is very, very interesting. And it requires a connection with divinity. The energy of the sentinel is one of like listening to the whispers of the divine within and being able to ping specific frequencies. And this watching element appears to be a big part of the energies right now. So we have the sentinel, we have the rocket, and we have the shifts in media. I don't know what it all means, but I think that right now, the energies are not about action. They're about watching, assessing, waiting. But let me tell you something. When the sentinel spots something and is called to act, just like a hound dog, if you've ever seen a hound dog, pause and freeze. But as soon as there's movement, bam, they're off. The sentinel, when the sentinel spots something, he transmutes into the warrior and bam, he's there. <laughs> 